Good morning, happy super beautiful and sunny Monday. I'm currently heading to campus. I have quite a few fun things planned for the week and it should be a pretty exciting day. So let's head to campus. I first went to the print lab to pick up a print of my most recent design. This glitchy floral is what you saw me make in my previous vlog using some hand painted flowers in a digital scanner. Because I had the class time, I figured I'd try to make some more coordinating prints. I found these paint swatches that matched the colors of my glitchy flowers, and I played around with them on the scanner just to see what would happen. I ended up with these really weird images which look like they could be made into some fun stripe designs, so I played around with them a bit on Photoshop. I decided that they didn't really go with my flowers as much as I thought they might, so I set them aside for another time. Hello again, I just got out of that class and honestly it ended up being pretty much like a very much needed break. So I started by scanning everything, I started working on patterns, and then my teacher was just like, let's go to Starbucks. <laughs> so my whole class squished into the elevator, we went down to the cafeteria where there's a Starbucks on campus and we all got in line, all got drinks, and then all sat at the cafeteria and just talked, which was like so needed right now. Like I don't think anyone is in the mood to do any actual work. Speaking of mood, that's actually where I'm heading right now. I need to go get some fabric for screen printing. So yeah, let's go. I brought some scraps of my previous prints with me to help me pick out the perfect fabrics for my third design. I really liked this red silk, but I was worried that it might read as Christmassy. I also liked this blue a lot, but I wasn't totally sold yet. I then found this really tacky gold fabric and I totally fell in love. It's so shiny and so gaudy, which works perfectly with my theme. I also found the perfect light blue silk to go with my pastel colorway. Going to Mood is always just like a crazy whirlwind experience, especially today, it was so crowded. But I got exactly what I needed. I ended up with the navy fabric, the gold fabric, and that kind of powdery blue one. So, mission accomplished. And now I gotta run to my bedding class. It was such a gorgeous day outside, so going back inside to work in a dark computer lab was definitely a little bit of a bummer. But I did end up having a lot of fun with my tulip bedding design. After finishing the layout, I played around with color and I started adding in those screen printed marble textures that I made a few weeks ago. Seeing it all slowly come together definitely made me more excited about my project. Hello again, I just got out of my class. Thankfully we got out early, which means I could actually enjoy the sun before it's totally gone. So I'm walking home and honestly, I'm probably just gonna take it easy tonight. So I will see you tomorrow. Happy Tuesday. It is an absolutely stunning Tuesday and I have a super exciting day planned today. So I'm heading to campus now and I'm heading straight to screen printing where I'm going to spend I think like eight hours or so just printing as many of my bug and brooch prints as I possibly can because I need to get that done for the critique next week. And then after the eight hours of printing I'm actually going to go to a college night event at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. So that should be a whole lot of fun and I'm really excited for that. So yeah let's head to campus. The first step was to figure out whether my screens actually worked or not. So I made a test print on white paper using highly contrasting colors to help me find any of my mistakes. Somehow it ended up working out perfectly, which was a huge relief. Then I started on my pastel colorway. First, I pinned down that beautiful blue silk that I bought at Mood Fabrics. Next, I had to mix up my inks. I wanted to make a white ink that matched the intensity of my last two prints. Then I had a big color theory puzzle to figure out. I needed a single ink that when printed over the white ink would read as my pink fabric, and when printed over the blue fabric would read as the darker purple details of my last print. I ended up making this red colored ink that worked out perfectly. Then it was time to print. I first printed the white blotch.
After the white dried, I went over it with the pink ink. And here's how it turned out. Hello again, I just finished my first round of screen printing. I got myself some lunch and now I'm gonna go find somewhere sunny to hang out. Up next, my jewel tone colorway on this crazy gold fabric. I wasn't really sure if this was gonna work out at all, which made me super nervous, but I decided to just go for it. I mixed up some purple and gold inks that matched my other two fabrics as closely as possible. And then I started printing. And since this is my main colorway, I had to print three continuous repeats of my design, which made it so much more challenging. And here's how the finished fabric turned out. I was really surprised by how well it worked out because I was nervous that the design would be really dull since the inks dry matte. But the parts where the gold fabric shows through are so shiny, so I think it works out. And here are my two prints from the day. I really like how dramatically different the two of them ended up being. Hello again, I just got out of my eight hour screen printing marathon and I actually finished two of three colorways which feels really good because I thought for sure I would end up falling behind just because we were under such a time crunch and so much could go wrong especially with this blotch print style that we're doing so definitely relieved <laughs> and I'm glad this means that I won't have to spend the weekend totally freaking out about this. Actually, I probably shouldn't say anything too soon and jinx it because I do still have one more colorway to go. <laughs> anyway, I'm now walking through Central Park. I'm on my way to the Metropolitan Museum of Art for their big event of the evening, which it's basically like a college night version of the Met Gala. So <laughs> there's gonna be food, fashion, dancing, and it should be a whole lot of fun. So yeah, I'll take you along with me. Good morning, happy beautiful Wednesday. Isn't it so nice to not listen to me complain about the winter anymore? I'm definitely stoked about that. <laughs> anyway, I'm heading to my advanced professional practices class and I'm just gonna kinda keep working on those like glitchy floral scanning prints. See if I can come up with anything. And yeah, hopefully it'll be a good day today. I decided to ditch those paint swatch stripes from earlier on in the week and just go back to the scanner and see what I could do with my original paintings. So I played around with ways of making circles and spots using my flowers on the scanner. Then I spent the rest of the morning on Photoshop creating some new prints. I made this funky plaid-ish design and then this leopard inspired design. After a quick coffee break, I made some flats in my Adobe Illustrator class. These super simple drawings are used to show what the textile designs might look like on actual garments. I went with a theme of children's rain gear, which I thought would be really cute for my silly springtime motifs. Hello again, I just got out of my illustrator class and I stopped by the print lab to pick up the prints that I made earlier today. Now I'm heading to my locker to drop all this off and then I'm meeting Ryan for our Wednesday dinner date. Happy 
happy Thursday. I have my extremely long day today, so I'm gonna start with screen printing. Hopefully I'll finish my bug and broach project today. Then I have my enormous six hour break where I'm gonna just work, work, work. And then I have my night class. So yeah, let's head to campus. <laughs> For my last print of my bug and brooch collection, I tackled my desert themed colorway. I found this really nice cotton fabric in a yellowish khaki color and I mixed up some gold paints until I had two shades that layered nicely together. Then I got to printing. Hello again, I just finished with screen printing and I feel so relieved. <laughs> Everything went mostly right and now I'm done with that project. I think there's a small chance I might come in on Tuesday before I critique just to redo one of my prints. It's that purple and gold one that I did the other day. I love how the fabric turns out, but I kind of feel like it doesn't totally fit with the rest of the colorway just because the golds are so different. But I know that this is something that like, only I would notice and only I would be nitpicky about. So I'm gonna decide whether or not I have the energy to redo that one. If I don't, it's all fine. I'm done. And that feels good. <laughs> anyway, I'm now in the empty weaving room and I'm gonna try to figure out what my last weaving design is gonna be for this summer and winter spring weaving project. So I'm gonna go on my computer, gonna play around on our software called Point Coray and just see if I can come up with something. For my third and final hand-woven design of my spring-themed collection, I came up with this super simple tulip motif. But I had a lot of troubles figuring out what colors I wanted to weave with. I started with this pastel pink and neon green, but it wasn't really crazy about how everything was coming together. After weaving a few rows, I just stared at it for a little while and I tried to make a new plan. So yeah, my weaving project wasn't really working the way I wanted it to. I kind of feel like I'm really into the very punchy neon single ply wool that I have going for that like Argyle one and the rest just like aren't working and there isn't really anything in the classroom that I'm finding that like totally works so I'm just gonna go to Nitty City. Also I totally didn't realize I had gold paint on my face from earlier. After pacing around the store for over an hour and holding up basically every yarn to my fabric swatch, I finally settled on two very bright single ply wools that I thought fit my theme of super bright and saturated springtime. Mission accomplished and now I'm heading back to campus. I then wove most of a new tulip swatch and I was much, much happier with it. And then I headed to my night class. Good morning, happy Friday. I'm beyond tired today. I have quite a bit of weaving I have to do and I'm hoping it's a good day today. So yeah, let's get a give this. In addition to my three woven swatches, I also had to create two digital weaves that fit with my collection. So I played around with combining motifs and stripes. And then I was back in the weaving room. The first thing I did was finish up my eight inch tulip swatch from the day before. Then I decided I wanted to redo my ladybug design using that super bright orange that I got at the yarn store. Overall, my collection turned out really bright and happy and glittery, which is exactly what I wanted. 
And now that I had three samples that I was happy with, I could cut my fabrics off the loom. Hello again, I am finally done weaving for my weaving project, which is like, woo! <laughs> feels so good to just like check another project off the list. I did have a lot of fun doing it, don't get me wrong. It's not like I needed that to end, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm just relieved nonetheless. Anyway, I'm now on my way home. I have a slightly busy weekend planned. Nothing like interesting is gonna happen necessarily. I just have a lot of work that I need to do in order to prepare for next week, which is my last week of school, which is a weird thing to say out loud. <laughs> So next week is definitely gonna be a little bit intense for me because literally every single day of the week I have a critique. There's something major to do on every single day and it's gonna be a lot. And it also won't be that interesting to just like film that as a standalone video. So I think I'm just gonna tack next week on to this week. So yeah, I'll see you on Monday. Monday. Look at these adorable flowers that just popped up at Columbus Circle. Those just totally made my morning. <laughs> anyway, today is day one of my crazy week filled with critiques and I'm on my way to my advanced professional practices class where I'm going to show off that kind of glitchy, drippy flower collection. So y'all, yeah, it's at the campus. Here are my three designs all nicely printed on watercolor paper. I had so much fun with this mini collection because it was the first time that I was allowed to make something in this program without really serious pre-planning. I feel like I was able to totally let go of any expectations and allow my impulses to guide me, which is my favorite way to make art. After class, Danny and I went to the bookstore to pick up her graduation gown. And even though I won't be able to attend our graduation ceremony, I bought myself a tassel to commemorate finishing this program. Since I had a bit of free time between my classes, I continued to work on my digital bumblebee weave. Our previous project in this class was entirely dedicated to plaids, so I thought it might be fun to combine those techniques with the summer and winter weave to make a plaid with cute motifs hidden inside. Then in my bedding class, I kept working on my tulip duvet cover, and I also made some coordinating prints to serve as the other bedding elements. Then I combined all of it to make one crazy fun bedding collection. Hello again, I'm finally done with my classes. I actually got a lot of stuff done today, which feels really good. And I am now done with one of five critiques. So four more to go and I will see you tomorrow. Hello, happy, absolutely beautiful Tuesday afternoon. I'm currently on my way to my screen printing class where I get to finally share all the prints that I've been working on for the entire semester for my bug and brooch theme collection. So I'm really excited about that. And of course I'm wearing some some bug themed jewelry for the occasion. So yeah, let's head to campus. For our critique, we all laid out our fabrics onto the giant screen printing tables. And then we walked around the room as a class to visit every student and hear about their work. Here's my little section of the classroom, which shows all nine of the prints that I made for my collection titled Living Jewels. This collection explores beetles, jewelry, and beetle themed jewelry. And I created three colorways with three totally unique personalities. I just got out of my screen printing critique and honestly I just feel like really happy and really relieved right now. That was a very exciting and fun critique just because I think our class like really gave this project their all. Like so everyone's work was just like absolutely top notch. It was so much fun to see what everyone made and I also just felt like really good about what I made too. I do think that this bug and birch collection has to be my favorite thing that I've made at FIT so far. I'm really proud of it. I had so much fun doing it and I just like love the outcome. So seeing it all out on the table and sharing it with everyone just felt really nice and it felt like a, a nice way to, to round off this semester. <laughs> also something else that made me really happy was that my teacher came up to me afterwards and she asked if I would leave my fabrics with her for the summertime so she could put them up in a display case. So 
We have these big display cases outside the classrooms and teachers often select student works to decorate the halls and she asked for my entire collection, like all nine pieces to put up in the display case, which just like, that's just like crazy. I almost started crying when she asked me that. It's such an honor. Uh, <laughs> yeah, anyway, so that feels really good. Yeah, I'm now on my way to the FIT Museum because there's an exhibition of the BFA students' work. So these are all the students in the bachelor's program showing off all of their like major projects for the end of the semester. And I really want to go check that out. So yeah, let's go together. Oh, that was so cool. I feel like in textile service design, we're kind of like in a little bit of a bubble. So we don't really get to see what all the other departments are up to. So this is like a really cool opportunity to actually see what other people are doing on this campus. Like for example, we share our floor with toy design and I have no idea what they're up to. So seeing their work was super cool. Seeing the painting students was super cool. Packaging design, yeah. Overall super cool experience. If you're here, in New York City and you want to check it out, I'm pretty sure this is open to the public for quite a while, so yeah, stop by FIT. <laughs> anyway, I'm now heading home. Tomorrow I have another critique, so I will see you then. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I am really not feeling it today and I just need to get through the day, so let's go to campus. Our professor decided to hold class in the cafeteria today and she so kindly treated us to a breakfast of bagels and homemade lemon cake. After class, I had my Adobe Illustrator critique where I presented my finished collection of children's wear prints. This whole year, in all of our classes, we've been asked to create designs that emphasize our hand painting and traditional art skills. So in this class, I wanted to make a collection that's in the exact opposite direction. I wanted to fully embrace the digital aspects of this software and make a collection that can only be created on a computer. So I made this whimsical collection that depicts a garden in a digital world. Just got out of my Illustrator critique and overall it went pretty well. It was kind of almost like the same thing that we showed last time. So it was pretty mellow. We all kind of like knew what we were gonna say and there weren't really any surprises, which honestly is kind of a good thing because we weren't like super duper stressed about this one. And yeah, I'm just relieved to have checked another critique off my list for the week. <laughs> anyway, I'm heading home now. I have a lot of things that I need to get done for my project due tomorrow and my critique on Friday, so I will see you tomorrow. Hello, happy rainy Thursday. I'm heading to my screen printing class where we're gonna wrap up our critiques. I have my six hour break where I'm actually gonna get a haircut and finish my weaving stuff. And then I have my night class, so it's gonna be a long and busy day. And then by the end of today, I'll have one more critique done. So looking forward to that. <laughs> I actually realized that I completely forgot to mention what my critique is tonight, and it's for my textile science class. We had to do like, a video project on a sustainable brand so just kind of like talking about what they do that makes them sustainable and it's not really worth sharing <laughs> it's nothing special really but i've been up all night working on that so i'll be relieved when that's turned in and i don't have to think about it anymore <laughs> anyway let's head to campus done with that class for the semester which is definitely bittersweet because I had so much fun in that class and I don't know during this whole program I just absolutely fell in love with screen printing like I had never done it before and now I'm hooked so I'm definitely sad that I won't get to screen print for another like I think it's like two semesters I have to wait but I will be counting down the days until I can do it again because it was just so fun <laughs> I'm gonna go walk around for a little bit get some food go to my hair appointment and eventually head to my night class so yeah I'll see you around Uh, 
Oh, I am finally done with my textile science night class. The class itself wasn't bad at all. Just the fact that I had to be here so late on Thursdays was definitely just like a lot of extra stress to my schedule. So I'm really relieved to be done with that. <laughs> now I'm heading home. I have some work I have to do in preparation for my critique tomorrow. So yeah, I'll see you then. Good morning, happy Friday. I'm on my way to my weaving class. We're gonna have a critique of all the weaves we've been working on for the past couple weeks. And I'm wearing a hand-woven shirt to celebrate the occasion. <sighs> when I'm done with this, I will be done for the week and I am really looking forward to that. So y'all let's head to campus. In this class, I presented my collection of weaves titled Transitional Whimsy. We were asked to create a trend of our own based on our observations of our world around us. I created this collection for children's outerwear that celebrates transitions. Our transition out of the pandemic, our transition from winter to spring, and our transition into a more digital age. My goal was to take traditional springtime motifs like bugs and flowers and turn up the volume with bright, unnatural colors to add some much needed joy and brightness to this really funky time period. I just finished up with my weaving critique, had some lunch with some of my classmates, and now I'm just hanging out in the sunshine, catching my breath for a little bit before I head home. Overall, the critique went really well. I was pretty happy with what I made. It was my first time ever doing this kind of weaving before, and I just really wanted to make something like cheerful and happy, and I think I accomplished that, so that feels good. <laughs> I have one more critique before this program is officially done, and that's for my bedding class, so I'm pretty much gonna spend all weekend working on that project. I have to finish up all my repeats and do some colorways and create a presentation, et cetera, et cetera. And then I'm gonna show that off on Monday and then I'm really done. <laughs> Monday is actually gonna end up being a really crazy day because I have that bedding critique in the morning and then I'm actually gonna meet up with Ryan and we are gonna head straight to the airport because we have a pretty fun trip planned, but that does mean that I'm not actually gonna be able to vlog on Monday because I wouldn't be able to like edit that footage into this video you're watching now just because of how my schedule's working out. Anyway, so by the time you watch this video, the bedding collection is going to be done, and here's what that turned out like. And yeah, with that being done, that pretty much wraps up my entire one year associate's degree program at FIT, which is like a pretty surreal thing to actually say out loud. This whole year and this whole experience has just been absolutely crazy. Like sometimes I go back and I watch some of my earlier vlogs like beginning of the year and I just cannot believe like how much has happened in such a short period of time. I learned so stinking much. <laughs> I totally grew as an artist and gained confidence in myself and made a lot of really fun friends here on YouTube. It really means so much to me that a lot of you stuck around and joined me every single week for these vlogs that were documenting my adventures and your comments and your support and your love just made everything so much better and you kept me going. So I just want to say like a heartfelt thank you so much for everything. I promised myself I wouldn't get sappy, but here I am. <laughs> Anyway, truly from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. And I hope you maybe will stick around for some of the videos I hope to make this summertime. And if you're just here for the vlogs, I hope to see you next year for the bachelor's degree program. So until then, bye.